Um, we are running out of time, so I want to see if I can get a minute from uh, Dr. Thieu Champong. Uh, what do you make of the small boy thing and uh, <laughs> how he cannot be removed? Uh, from our information, uh, the, the gentleman, uh, Albert Akrugu, who he talks about, um, actually resigned from customs uh, in April. And the investigations on this matter had ended in March. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's funny, uh, but it's an unfortunate statement and in a way betrays, you know, the, the psyche of uh, a lot of people uh, in the country. In Ghana, we like to play big money games. You know, people will ask, uh, do you know who I am? And all of that. And also, we like to play the God card a lot uh, in, in our dealings. Um, but when you look at the data, we are also among the most corrupt <laughs> in, in that regard. So it, it actually shows you we have a, a much bigger problem or issue. That aside, I think the, the detail of this investigation and what it really points to is the process for the award of these discounts and you know benchmark value estimation needs to be re-looked at. Mm. Um, and because you have all these normal provisions within the law, the, guy, the man says that it's a common practice, quote and unquote. But we know that anytime we have these mm. provisions and you give leeway, mm. we always end up abusing the mm. process. All and right. those is uh, I'm, I'm sorry, but unfortunately, we have run out of time. Uh, my guests have been uh, Gottfried Bok, Professor Gottfried Bokwin, Professor of Finance and Economics, University of Ghana, Dr. Theo E. Champong, Political Risk Analyst and Economist, Mary Awalana Ada, is Programs Manager, Ghana Integrity Initiative. Um, my outfit, as always, is by Habil Scooter. You can find them at Adringano Gate, East Legon, 0284. 1988. Uh, we understand that utility tariffs are going to go up by between 30 to 50 percent. Uh, we've got to brace up. Um, take care. I'm Samson Ladia Yenini. Have a good afternoon. As for the OSP report, I suppose that those who want to challenge it will go to courts in due course. <laughs>